What is up, Tube, and welcome back to another tutorial by Big Al's Barber Channel. Welcome back to our quarantine tutorials, guys. It's a set of quarantine tutorials. I, I hope everybody finds themselves healthy and well at home, guys. How is everybody doing out there? Is everybody handling this quarantine? Has everybody worked? Has anybody been doing anything? What do you guys have been up to, guys? Put it down in the comments below. We welcome you back. For all our new subscribers, welcome to Big Alice Barber Channel. This is a channel dedicated to helping all barbers or anybody out there trying to cut their hair right now. I know a lot of people are out there right now trying to do home haircuts. So we're going to keep this super basic, guys, so that you guys can follow along very simply. What I'm starting off with right there, guys, is I'm doing a number four on the sides. What we're going to do on this, gentlemen, is we're going to do a zero taper. Zero taper with a number two on the side, and on top, we're just going to slick the top back. So what we're starting off guys is we're using our number four and what we're doing is we're going off the sides of the head now imagine if this gentleman was wearing a crown like a, like a royal crown it'd be a crown all the way around his head the bottom of the crown would be the bottom the top would be the top so it's crown pretending that the crown is only about two inches wide so you have a crown lying around the side of the head we start off with a number four and we went up to the top of the crown now what we're using here is we're using our number two detachable blade, which is an Oster detachable, Oster Octane with our number two detachable blade. Um, what we're doing is we're going up to the bottom of the crown with that. As you can see, that's leveling everything out. We're moving along quickly. Uh, you know, when you're a barber and you're working in the shop, you, your, your ultimate goal is to become quick and efficient so that you could do as many haircuts as you can to get more money. More money in your pocket means more revenue. So this is a system that I use when I'm cutting and I'm trying to, you know, got people waiting for me as you guys can see right there. So, you know, you got to move along quickly. Uh, so I went with my number two all the way around, guys. Just leveled everything out, okay? Just all the way around the head, bottom of the crown. So now we gotta, what we gotta, well first, first thing we did was went with the number two guys. Now we're going with, now we're gonna do is do some clipper over comb and blend that number two that we did the metal two to the number four. Remember we started with our number four. And the, the, the comb that I'm using right here is I'm using a Gentleman Republic carbon, carbon white comb. It's a new comb that somebody gave me. So I, you know, whenever somebody gives me a piece of equipment, I definitely give it a try, see how much, see how I like it. That's the good thing about being a, a professional barber, guys, is you can try out different equipment and see what works for you. You just not necessarily have to stick to the machines that you like. You know, a lot of times you're gonna buy machines and, and you're not gonna like them. So you're gonna end up trading them away, bartering them away, and handing them down to somebody who might benefit from them. That's what I always do. So what we did, guys, we went with a number four first, and then we went with a number two. Now we faded it out. We tapered, not tapered, we clipper over combed blending out from the number two to the number four okay what i'm going to do quickly now is i'm going to remove that sideburn and i'm going to go right to the side of the ear right there as you can see i just took it right down i'm going to go around the ear and i'm going to create that first line right there down the side right there back in the day this was called a two-line taper guys and the reason why it was called a two-line taper is because that's one of the two lines right there it said two lines on each side of the head and the back is tapered out so it's called a two-line taper for those of you guys that didn't know, that was way back in the day, before even my time of cutting hair. Even though I am an old gentleman, I'm 50 years old, this is even before my time. This is this is taught to me by my, my mentor, which was my uncle who taught me how to cut hair. And, and right there, I'm going to take off the other sideburn, right where the ear starts to turn. You see that? Just take it all down. We went with the number two already right there. So now we got to do is just fade that sideburn out and the taper will be done on the side. It's super simple, guys. Super simple, super efficient super quick now we're creating that other second line right there that's our other side in the two line remember i told you two line taper now you have your two lines one on each side now we're going to create the back line and that back line right there is more of a guide than anything guys because that's where our taper is going to start from that section down everything below it is going to be a zero we're going to fade that line out to a zero that's why it's called a zero taper because there's no line at the bottom for those of you guys that didn't know that that's why it's called a taper so just 
it doesn't necessarily have to be super straight as you can see there because we're gonna fade that line out and there's not gonna be no line there when we're done so now we're gonna move over to the other side right here we're gonna do that sideburn first as always that's how I start my the machine I'm using right here is I'm using the Kemi Chinese machine it's a, like a $40 machine so what the clip I'm using is a number one we went with the number two so now we go with the number one lever open which is a one and a half that blends right into the number two as you can see there's nothing to it guys close my lever I went to the bottom up that was a was a one now I took off my clip and I'm gonna go no clip lever open that's a half and I'm going up there and I'm creating a guide as you go across I'm gonna lower my lever one click and I'm going back up to the same spot then I lower my lever now I have my lever completely closed and I'm just pushing that bottom shadow up the only thing that's left there guys is that little shadow right there that's called a half shadow but first I'm gonna go in with my trimmer and push that bottom line up so that there's no line at the bottom to zero so you don't want to line at the bottom all we have is a half line right there the half line I'm gonna come in with my half clip lever open and I'm gonna work across it lever open as I see right there when I pause boom move it up one click and I'm gonna run it again boom lower another step see how quick that is guys when, when you're when, once you develop a system of cutting hair you're not gonna take you a long time to to look at your machine and move your clicks it's gonna be automatic you're just gonna lift up your hand boom click it click 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 that's what's cool about this machine right here it has a click system I like that any babless machine they have a click system also they're actually, actually kind of the same machine so now we're gonna do the same thing on this side guys sorry about the blurriness hopefully it, it, it reacts right here but we're gonna go with a le lever open number one on there remember we already went with the number two so we're just gonna go with the lever open go right up to the same spot it blends right in now i'm gonna close it close and i'm just pushing the bottom line up it's already fading out as you can see right there sorry about the blurriness again and still learning how to function these these cameras now i don't have a clip on there zero clip no clip at all so i'm going to create a guide lower my lever one quarter way and then i'm going to go back up to the same spot now i have it closed and i'm just pushing that bottom line up same thing creating that center shadow see that center shadow right there we're going to push that up with a half clip right now but first we're going to come in with a trimmer no i didn't i came up with a half clip and i'm just fading it out bad view guys guys i hope you guys are staying safe out there i hope you guys are practicing i hope you guys are just practicing at home i hope you guys are are staying safe out there in this world crazy world right now guys but we should be back to work pretty soon i've been watching the news and things are looking up so hopefully by the 15th of may we should all be heading back to work so now I'm coming back there and I saw a little dark spot right there. So what I'm doing is I'm just coming in with some clipper over comb, guys. Guys, when you guys do these tapers, these tapers are so simple, guys. You guys have to move along quickly, move on to the next step. You know what I mean? So now I'm going to come in with my number one lever open. And again, I'm just going to go up. And as I go up, you can see that I'm doing like a C-cut motion. The reason why I do that C-cut motion, guys, is because the number one and a half is going to blend into the number two. But you have to cup it. You have to C-cup it so that it doesn't create a shadow right there and, and to create another line. As you can see, it just blends right into the number two. Now I close my lever close and I'm just pushing the bottom line up. See the bottom line wasn't too straight. It doesn't matter because we're going to fade that out right now. It was kind of at an angle. I knew that I didn't want to push that line too high. So now I'm going to take off my clip, lever open. Same thing I did with the size, lever open. I'm going to go up and just kind of create a little shadow there. See, I created a shadow. Now I lower my lever a quarter way and I'm going to go back up to the same spot. Then I'm going to close it halfway up and I'm just focusing on the bottom shadow, just pushing that shadow up. I did half of the head right there, now I'm coming to the other side. Lever open first and I'm going to create another guide. Do that guy now I'm gonna close it quarter way and I'm gonna go back to the same spot again and that center guide right there that center shadow we're gonna come back wow, I picked up another machine I was kind of struggling with that machine so I picked up my 1919 and I'm just working on that bottom line right there that's a good thing about having several machines guys you know like you if you pick up a machine and you just don't find it feeling well then you pick up another machine and you know what's weird is some machines will cut good for some hair and some machines will cut better for other hair so you have to have a variety of different machines so there I put my half clip on and now I got the center shadow. Now I'm just going across it. One of two things happened to that other machine. It either it um, I probably started dying, so I, that's why I picked up this one. So I'm just going across it, and as I go across, I lower my lever quarter way and I'm working. Now I go to the other side. I always when when I do the back side of the taper, guys, I split the head and down the middle. If you notice, I did one half and then I do the other half and then I just combine them. And pretty much that's it on your taper right there. This is it. It's a quick taper. It's only about 15 minutes. I got to knock this haircut out in 15 minutes right there. 
now the top we're just gonna go we're gonna well, well first of all let me finish what i'm saying here this is a two line taper so this is what the two lines right there see that line right there and then i'm gonna go sharpen that's the last part of my taper right there i sharpened it up and then i'm gonna use my trimmer pushing from the bottom up so to make sure that there's no line right there and i'm doing this haircut right here in real time guys this is really took me about 15 minutes you know what i mean probably 20 minutes total with the top and everything it, it was pretty relatively quick so the top he likes it long really long so and, and he slicks it back so basically what we're just going to do is saturate the hair and um we're going to cut a little bit off the top we're not we're, he wants kind of the pump look so we're going to leave the front longer shorter towards the back and then we're going to crisscross it and come across the other way So how have you guys been handling this, this quarantine, guys? What are you guys doing to make money? Are you guys staying at home? Are you guys essential? Some of you guys might be essential workers. If you're essential workers, put it down below. Let us know what else you guys do out there. You know, just staying busy, guys. So right there, I'm coming up, guys, and I'm bas basically taking off about an inch. This hair was super long on top. As you can see, as I go back, I'm taking more and more. Back there, I'm going to take almost an inch and a half, almost two inches. Because on the back, you want it to lay back, lay down and not flap over the sides. So there's my first guy. Now I'm going to come back and I can see my guy that I did the first time. Remember, I always cut the hair in four sections, guys. So one more. I, see my, I can just see exactly where I pulled up the last guy. And that's where I take out that amount. There's many, many, many videos to cutting hair on top, guys. How to use your scissors the right way. Um, apparently, I don't even use my scissors the right way. There, there's a different way of using them. Um, but, you know, it is to each his own, guys. This is, you know, the hair cutting, there's no right or wrong way of doing it, guys. There's just an ugly haircut and a bad haircut. So, you got to get good at making good haircuts. You, you got you to, gotta, you know, one, to one person, a haircut might be ugly. But to another person, it might be what they're looking for. You know, so you the, the, the number one thing when you're doing haircuts like this, guys, is just remember your customer service skills, your customer service skills. A, class, a client is going to remember a great customer service experience more than a great haircut. If you sit down and you talk to them and, and let them hear what they want to hear and, you know, and, and talk some relevance and talk some good sense, the client will appreciate that more than anything. So right there, what I'm doing is I'm crisscrossing, guys. I'm going, I went from front to back. Now I'm going from side to side. And what I'm doing is I'm lifting up and I can see what hairs I miss so that it just lays back down nice. Now I'm towards the front. I start towards the back of the head and I move my weight towards the front of the head. Crisscrossing. So now I'm going to lay it all back and find out what, if anything, I'm, I'm missing right here. I'll be able to tell when I lay it down. I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit. And once I blow dry it, then I'm gonna come back and do some clipper over comb and make sure that um, the sides are, aren't, aren't sticking out too much. Of course, he wears this with pomade, pushes it all back. It's kind of like a rick, rockabilly type of haircut, you could say. Super clean, super easy. Fun haircut to do. I've been cutting this young man's hair for 10 years probably, so he's been coming to me for a long time, him and his whole family. That's another good thing about being a barber, guys, is a camaraderie. You know, that's one of the things I miss about being home already for 33 days is that, you know, just missing my clients and not seeing everybody. And, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible, man. I miss it at home. I, I want to be, be at work. I want to be making money. I want to be, you know, just working on my on my craft and and, and, and you know, the camaraderie with my with my clients and my fellow barbers i miss you know the bullshit and the, the movies and the tv and you know and, and all the radio and all that good stuff you know but soon we'll be back guys so what i'm doing right there guys i'm just blow drying the hair in the direction that it's going to lay back so that when you apply your pomade I, I don't know if you guys know but pomade works a lot better when the hair is dry if you apply pomade especially if it's a water soluble pomade on wet hair it's not going to hold so you want to push it you know as you can see i'm using a roller brush and what i do is lift up and then i just push it in the direction and once i lay the back back there in the back of the top i, I lay the, the brush down and i just roll it and as you roll you'll see the hair lift up and, and the hair blowing there the blow dryer blowing through it. 
get that side nice and pumped up now I'm gonna come around the other side blow dry the other side and then I'm gonna come back and I'll do some detail work on the sides and just clean it up make sure that there's no uh, shadows or lines because you know at, at this point right now you, you'll see when you're blow drying and you're not cutting the hair you'll notice the other parts of the hair like okay I got a shadow here I got a shadow there it's part of the detail part the process of doing haircuts you know you you it, the haircut that uh, doing a good service is not just doing a good haircut guys it involves doing a good hair consultation at the at the beginning of the haircut especially if it's a new client you got to find out what that client wants and a lot of times what the client tells you what he wants is not what he wants so you got to decipher what that person is telling you so he might say he wants to come in and he tells you he wants a, a fade and you're thinking a zero fade and he basically wants a two on the sides you're gonna mess him up if you go in there and start with your zero fade right off the bat or you or he's gonna think you're messing him up because that's not the haircut he wants so a lot of times, guys, keep in mind, when you're doing brand new clients, it's essential that you do a, a hair consultation at the beginning. Ask him to bring in pictures. Ask him if he has any pictures of what he's looking for. If any, you know, that way you can see. I could tell by a picture if he wants a taper, a fade, or a regular. You know, those are the basic three haircuts. You know, a taper, a fade, or a regular. And then the, what he wants on top. The top could be slick back. It could be scissors. It could be, it could be a number. It could be a flat top, you know, it could, be, it could be a mohawk. So it just depends on the size and the top. So right here, I'm just coming in and I'm just doing some clipper over comb. So the first thing, like I told you guys, the first thing is to decipher what your client wants. That way you could give him the haircut he wants. And trust me, guys, people are going to come up with some crazy stuff. They're going to come in with pictures of ugly haircuts. They're going to come in pictures of, of haircuts that they can't get because they don't got that type of hair. You know, somebody comes in with, a f with, with, with curly, curly, curly hair and he wants it slicked back. It's going to be difficult. You know what I mean? You have to be honest with your client. You got to let them know if that haircut's going to work or it's not going to work. Because, you know, the, ultimately you want to give them the right type of haircut. You want to make him happy so that he comes back in your chair. And a lot of time that has to do with your attitude. It has a lot to do with the service you provide. It has a lot to do with the customer service skills that you have. You know, are you being polite? Are you being are, are you being uh, educational? You know, a lot of times if, if a client wants a haircut and he can't give him the haircut, then you got to explain to him why. And then show him pictures of haircuts that you think that would look good on him. One of my, like one of my pet peeves guys is when a younger person comes in and they want a regular haircut with regular sideburns and I'll be telling that, that kid or that gentleman or that youngster, I'll tell him like, why do you want sideburns? Sideburns are for old people. You're young. You shouldn't want sideburns. You should want a taper or a fade, something tight, something that looks nice. And then nine out of 10 times, if I give it to them, they're going to love it. One time or another, they're going to say, oh, that's too short for me. But you'll know because the next time they come back to you, they're going to tell you, oh, I like the haircut, but you know, my wife thought it was too short. Some wives prevent their husbands from getting short haircuts because they feel that the husbands are out there trying to look younger. So, you know, sometimes you're not going to get that choice. You're not going to get that, that opportunity to give them a fade. So, you, but ultimately you want to give them what they want. So right there, basically the haircut's done, guys. You guys can already tell that's popping up on top. Right there, I blow dry the hair in the direction that I want it. Now I'm providing some uh, tip top pomade which is a water soluble pomade you just want to apply it like a topping you know like your hair's already set so you just want to apply it on the sides the front and push it towards the back and then really lightly just kind of comb it through and set it to where you want and at this point too if you have like straggler hairs up there what you could do is apply some some hairspray and comb it in the direction you like it direction he wants it make it look nice and clean nice and tight but you can see this haircut is pretty simple, guys. It, it, once you develop your own system of cutting hair, that's the main thing is develop your own system of cutting hair. Know what, you know, like I always tell everybody, cutting hair is like a chess match. You have to know your steps. You have to know one, two, three steps ahead of time so that you know where you yeah we appreciate every single one of you guys here especially all you new subscribers if you guys are even if you guys aren't barbers and you guys are here to try to t cut your own hair follow these steps guys it's not very hard it's very simple um you know if uh if you guys are in desire of becoming barbers guys i encourage you guys to go to school get an apprenticeship do what it is that you got to do to become a barber because remember guys ultimately the, the ultimate goal is to have your own barber license that, that way you can go out there and work so right here, the last thing I always do when I finish off my tapers or regular haircuts, I always shave the neck and the, and the sideburns, guys. And the reason being is because 
that's how you keep it authentic you know you go to a barber shop and the barber brings out the, the razor blade on you um then you're going to an authentic barber if he brings out a machine and he shaves the sides and you know and you're done in five minutes then it might not be too authentic um but when you finish uh, me myself at my shop all tapers and regular haircuts get finished off with uh some la hot lather and and the straight razor and guys for you new barbers that don't know this hot lather on the neck feels amazing guys and that's a feeling that people are going to remember people are going to know that they came to a real barber when they get that straight razor on them and, and you clean them all up and like every new client you get to put a brand new blade in your machine and you're ready to go just part of the service guys should always be part of the service if you guys aren't doing this you're denying your clients the opportunity of authentic feeling remember that hot lather have a hot lather machine in your shop guys guys but that's it for this haircut again guys i appreciate every single one of you all welcome to all our new subscribers guys if uh you guys don't know i have another vlogging channel me and my wife i encourage you guys go to our other channels called big al and lisa marie vlogs we are dropping valuable content living a barber life here at home we have a segment going right now it's called quarantine vlogs so i encourage you guys to go on there and sign on but with that being said guys i appreciate every single one of you guys and we'll see you guys on the next video grind on